nice one. Yeah, nice one. Nice one. Oh, big one. Whatever this is, this is nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, drag. Pull a drag. There we go, the pump slow blat. That's how it's done. Look at that. That's beautiful. Okay. Okay, let's go, friends. Here we go. Outgoing tide. <laughs> Clear water too. Look at that. Clear water. Beautiful. Oh, look at that one go. That's so uh, peaceful. pretty look at that beautiful atalong where you can find this in australia atalong Woohoo! all right man that like looks real good silent you are blind and now you're not <laughs> bouncy bouncy that's it that's looking good buddy that's it, bounce it. <laughs> He's off. Give it a crack. Oh, oh, what the hell? You hit the end. <laughs> it's hit the, it's hit the bank. What the hell? Bank to sell. I think he's beached himself. You okay? Okay. What the hell happened there? How's your hull? Any problems with your hull? Go check it. All right. If you stay still, I'll check if there's bubbles. Well, we might try this slow palm palm slow black. 40 grams jig, the slim type slim to see if we can get something it's all calm and peaceful now Lion Island the Palm Beach Lighthouse and Baron Joey Head over there and you can see Pearl Beach over there in the background we'll just hang about here and just see if we can find something well friends thank you for joining me I'm out in the Broken Bay area right out in the heads as you can see right down there we're outside Palm Beach is over right there and we're out in the deep blue sea by ourselves not a soul not a single boat in sight I'm delighted to be out here it's calm I've seen now today several dolphins a turtle just broke right next to me and right in the background a total serene Tasman Pacific Ocean right down here up there is Terrigal well today we're going to use this palm slow blat down here as you can see a beautiful looking little jig uh, pink in color and we're going to toss right down there in slow motions let's see if we can get that right and do a little bit of shore jigging like so now whoa great cast let that sink for a little bit now we're paired with the Bon Voyage uh, rod the BVC 664H and of course my favorite freshly acquired Daiwa Ryoga 1520H let's engage it right now and do retrieve like so let it sink 
think one, two, three. Let it sink. One, two, three. Like so. Let it sink. Come on! <clears throat> oh shit! Whoa, look at this! <clears throat> oh, oh. Nice one! Yeah, nice one! Nice one! Oh, big one! Whatever this is, this is not. Oh, yeah! Yeah! Drag! Pull the drag! New camera on my head! New battery, I had to change it while holding the rod! Can you believe this? Okay, back in action. Close on it, close on it, quick. Come on. I'm gonna mess on it. This is what happens when the timing's not right. Concentrate, close this thing. There we go. Alright, alright. Go, Ryoga. Go. Now we are talking. That's called keeping your cool. Keep, oh. Keeping your cool. Go, Ryoga. What is this? Oh, Bonito. Oh. Bonito, keep your cool. Well, tell you what, you kept your cool. Yes, yes indeed. Yes indeed. Now that's what I call keeping your cool. Well done, Joe. Well done indeed. Oh, got a battery. Ran out halfway through this fight. Had to put it right between my teeth. The rod changed the battery. Oh, look at that. What a beauty. What a beauty. Pour it right in the mouth. Look at that. Right in the mouth. Let's have a good geese at this. Okay. Oh, dolphins. Dolphins is good. Sharks, no good. That's a dolphin. Dolphins, good. Dolphins, I'm, I, I can live with dolphins. Oh. Oh. I think that's a big bonita. Oh. Don't get caught up in everything. Oh, what a beauty. What a beauty. Oh. Oh, yes. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Turn you around. Oh. Look at that. Caught fair and square right in the mouth. Isn't that beautiful? One on the side there, as you can see. And one on the side in the front in the mouth. There's no way this beast is going anywhere. It's time to keep you fresh. And it's a big one too. This is no joke. This is no joke. Let's see. Let's get the hooks off. Let's get the hooks out of this friend without losing my junk. Got the top one off. Let's get the bottom one off. Chuck it over there so we don't get into a tangles. It's free spooling. Oh, the Daro Ryoga. Oh. There we go, the pump slow blat. That's how it's done. That's how it's done. Got to bleed him quickly. Oh, nice. Right. Wow, what a beautiful specimen of a fish there. Australian Bonito, look at that. Nice and fresh. Very happy with that. Very happy with that. Look at that. Right in the background of Central Coast. Look at that, the volcanic rocks. Well, it's not volcanic. Wow. So that's quite a big one. It's about 46, 47 long. I'm very happy with that. Nice and thick too. Come on! Oh, bloody hell, it's a tailor. I don't want you, Taylor. 
<laughs> I want. I want. Ah, come on, get out of it. Oh, anti climactic. All right, all right, let's get you out of here. Okay. All right, set you free, all right? You're not what I want, but you'll grow into something big. And if you calm down and don't bite me, I'll chuck you free. There you go, buddy. Out you go. Good on you. Well, re to recapitulate, this is the fishing lure I caught the tuna on, or the bonita on. It is a palm slow blad type slim, 40 grams jig. You can see it has right on the top here, double single hooks, and right at the base and tail end of it, a single one. So all together, three single hooks. The palm slow bat, 40 grams. Very slow black, I should say, very, very lethal. Um, I highly recommend that. And the hookup rate was fantastic. <sighs> go, gadget legs, go, 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 go. Oh, God, how am I gonna beat this? You may not. Depends on your endurance. Go, gadget legs, go. Oosh, 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 oosh. Push, push, oh, go, 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 power, oh, 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 it's not over yet, oh, there's a fish jumped in front of me, oh, go, 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 I'm not losing, I'm losing, okay, this is where, it gets cut, cut across that way. Well, safety first. If you ever get caught in a current going out, it's important to read it. You're not going to be able to out paddle that with your right, with your leg power. So it is important to find a good place make some calculated decisions and cut across into slower, uh, more slack current so that you can steer the boat. The key thing is you want to be avoid losing control of the direction of the boat to be broached. In that instance, to be broached and perhaps letting the current let you hit against that green boy and flipping you over. But if you keep your wits about you, stay calm, keep your, all your gear all tight and tethered up and by all accounts, read the situation, you'll be in good hands and you'll get home safely. Well, I paid a price for that escapade. If you can see this main rod here is bent. That rod here is bent and the flip is here. Touch. I'll have to bend that rod back up to square one. Well, I'm going to set you free, buddy. I'm going to set you free. Here you go. Nice little yellow tail. Set him free. <laughs> Off you go, buddy. That way. That way. Not that way. That way. Off you go. See ya. Woohoo! Well, we're finally back at shore. What a fiasco. Raging tide going out. And a bent little pedal. But I'll soon be able to fix that. Well, after all that hard work, one fish to show for it. And let's uh, have a look at it, shall we? And there you have it, the beautiful bonita. What a beautiful looking fish. I think we shall make this into beef, uh, not beef tataki, but bonito tataki. And thank you for joining me all the way up to the end of this video. If you haven't subscribed to Joe Ninja Fisherman, please do. I'm trying to grow the content. It's growing bit by bit and I'll appreciate your support. See you till the next episode from Joe Ninja. Bye bye. Good luck. Thank you. There we go, grab all that guts and everything here. Put it right there. Let's set it free. All this can go. Am 
might get rid of all that deep vein thrombosis around here. All that can go. I don't like all that black and red. So I'm going to clean all that up. Yeah, clean that up. And there you have it, one beautiful, nice, clean slab of meat. Let's get this all preserved. Here comes the hard part. Bend the knees. Let's get this home. Gentle. Dismal. There you go. There you go. There you have that beautiful bonito from the other day. It's been curing for two days, but today we shall slice it up. And you have two little fillets of the bonito. Now we should cut it up to strips. And there you have it, four beautiful fillets of bonito. Nice white flesh, ready to be tataki. Now we have four lovely slabs of white meat ready to be tataki from the bonito we called the other day. Put the skin side down. Turn it very quickly. To one side, to see it edges. Dunk them in cold ice water to let them cool. Time to slice up that bonito. Notice it's pink in the middle and cooked on the outside. So let's slice it up quite nicely. Nice thicker chunks are nice. Maybe one more cut here. And I prepared a second plate for my daughter. Look how pretty it is. Pink in the middle, cook on the outside. Katsuo no tata. I hope she likes it. Here we go, it's time to put the uh, ponzu sauce on it. Look at that. Mm. So, I think my daughter will like this very much. Well, the daughter likes it, so it's called feeding the child. I'm gonna put the face in it. But there you go, doll. Mmm. Thumbs up or no thumbs up? Thumbs up. I got thumbs up. Mmm. Wonderfully soft in the middle. Powder on the rim. Beautiful flavor. An absolute beautiful flavor. The ponzu goes really well with this. Itadakimasu. Let's try another one. Itadakimasu. Bon appetit till next time, friends.